Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and praise the Lord. I am Pastor Fred Moore, pastor of the Kingdom of God Christian Center in Round Rock, Texas. I want to thank you for joining me for Sila Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. Listen, I want to say we appreciate all of you that either share or subscribe or like us. Thank you so much for doing that and continue to share us with your friends. We want to preach the gospel of the kingdom to as many people as we possibly can. Let's pray, beloved, so we can get into our word. Father, again, we thank you for our time together in your word. We pause to acknowledge you because you say when we, did, when we do, you would direct our path. And Holy Spirit, none of this will be effective if you don't anoint it. So anoint both messenger and listener in Christ's name. Amen. All right, beloved, the, the Selah thoughts that we've been developing is the rich rewards of repentance. And the text that we're using is Joel chapter 2, verse 12 through 18. But for the sake of time, I want to just read verse 12 through 14. It says, therefore, also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your God, for he's gracious, merciful, slow to anger of great kindness and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth, look at verse number 14, who knoweth if he will return and repent, and I love these terms, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. I want you to see that there's rich rewards when you and I practice real repentance. Now, last time I left off with you, I shared with you my calling from Luke chapter one, how that I was reading the scripture and God called me and I was reading about John the Baptist and I knew part of what I was to preach as a pastor was a strong message of repentance. And what I was, I said to you at the end of the last podcast was that I had recently taught our church on the beauty of holiness. And beloved, I'm saying that not that I'm having some kind of a uh, moment. No, I just believe that God is calling us back to some basic things because beloved, you and I need to see God move like never before in our life. And he's not going to move in our midst until we put ourselves in a position for him to move in our midst. What I want to tell you before, beloved, with every person that's a member of any church, here's what your church ought to do. Your church ought to encourage you. Your church ought to care for you. Your church ought to challenge you. Your church ought to change you. And your church also ought to correct you. I'm going to say it again. You shouldn't want to be a part of a church if that church don't encourage you. And you shouldn't want to be a part of a church that all it does is encourage you and don't do the other things. It ought to encourage you. It ought to care for you. It ought to challenge you. It ought to change you. And it ought to correct you. So when I'm dealing with the, 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 the rich rewards of real repentance, I'm trying to get us ready for the holiest day on the Christian calendar. And that's Easter. Some people call it Easter. I like Resurrection Sunday. And for the Catholics, I thought the, it was something interesting that the Catholics, that the Catholics for 40 days, beloved, they go through a season of prayer and fasting to prepare themselves for Resurrection Sunday. Now, I'm not uh, promoting Catholicism, as most of you know that, but I'm just using that as an example of how you and I, listen, beloved, we got to get back to some basics when it comes to the things of God. Now, Pastor Moore, when you talk about repentance, what, what are you talking about repenting from? Let me just give you a few that I, I, I just got from as I prepared for this podcast. I think, first of all, some of us need to repent in our regarding our relationship with our master. I think you ought to start there. If you don't start there, all the all the other ones is null, null and void. What do I mean? What do you mean? Some of you know, listen, some of you are not where you ought to be in your relationship with him, and you need to repent. Some of you are not doing what you know you're called. See, part of you, part of why you're miserable, beloved, you're not doing what he told you to do. Your frustration. And if you're doing it with little results, has the light come on yet? Maybe he didn't tell you to do that. Because whatever it calls you to do, what God calls you to do, he blesses. Remember, what God creates, he blesses. 
When he created it, he blessed it. When he created it, he blessed it. If God tells you to do something, he's blessing it. And some of us need to repent because you're not doing the ministry God called you to do. For some of you, you're not doing the business God called you to do. He put that in you. In our one-year prayer through the Bible, we, are, we have the one-year Bible, but we also have now the one-year prayer through the Bible. And in the one-year prayer through the Bible devotional, the writer said this, beloved, watch this, that you and I are in the management business. And what she was talking about, you and I, God's going to hold us accountable for the gifts that he's given us and how well did we manage them. I told my church, either at the beginning of the year or the last year or the end of the year, the 2023 should have been the last year that a lot of you set on your gifts. Because here's the truth, beloved. Either use it or lose it. Either use it or lose it. Because God said in the, in the parable of the talents or uh, uh, the other one, he said, if he ain't using it, take it from him. So, beloved, here's some areas. As I just introduced this again to you, we got to re repent in our relationship to the master. Some of us got to repent in our marriages. Some husbands are not loving their wives as Christ loved the church. Some of you wives. Now, I know the word submit is a cuss word for a lot of people, but it's still in the Bible. I ain't cussing. God say submit. I like to say support. Okay, if it, if it is soften the blow, sisters, don't don't throw javelins at me. That, there you go with that submit. No, okay, well, let's say support then. Can you just support a brother? There you go. Another one of those submit, 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 submit. And here's the way it works, beloved. I'm not blind to it. God don't tell you to submit to no man that's not submitted to him. Oh, I rung the bell just then. Drop, mic drop, mic drop. <laughs> listen, God is not telling you to submit, my sister, if you are not, listen, if you're not living with a submitted man. And brother, God don't require her to submit to you if you ain't submitted. But I leave it alone because I'm making enemies more and more I talk. But listen, repentance when it comes to our relationship with our master. Repentance when it comes to the ministries that's inside of us and we're not doing it. Repentance in our marriage. We need to repent for how we're stewarding our money. For some of us, we're still robbing God. I know they're all over the Facebook or TikTok or whatever and they're criticizing Preachers who preach on tithe. And listen, listen, listen. Look at look, look at me real good. Listen to this real good. They tell you, tithe in this Old Testament. There was a preacher teaching the Old Testament. So is Psalms 23. You ain't got a problem when we teach you about Psalms 23, do you? What about Psalms 91? He that dwelleth in the secret place. What about Psalms 1? Blesses the man that walketh not in the council of the oh you, oh you, yeah. One thing have I desired. What about that Psalms? Oh, that's Old Testament. Listen, I know the plans that I have for you. Jeremiah 23. You like that, don't you? That's Old Testament. So don't, 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 don't pick and choose. Listen, we got to repent of how we steward in our money. And I'm not just talking about tithes and offerings, but I'm talking about how we're managing our money. Because for some of us, it's not that God is not giving you enough. You're just not using what he gives you wisely. Some of us got to repent of our mouth. Your mouth is getting you in trouble. Some of us has got to repent of our mentality. We're too headstrong. We won't listen to nobody. Can't nobody tell us nothing. So I'm saying to you, beloved, these areas here I want you to consider as we deal with this repentance piece, the rich rewards of repentance. Is it your relationship with your master? Is a ministry that's laying dormant in you? Is it your marriage? Is it in the areas of money? Is it your mouth? Is it your mentality in your mind? We're going to deal with it. We're going to help you to understand repentance. Amen. Listen, beloved, if you want to reach us, you can always reach us at kgcc96 at gmail.com. You can go to our website. It's kgccatx.org. Don't forget, for those of you that live in the Austin Round Rock area, we would love to have you for Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. and Tuesday night Bible studies at 7 p.m. Don't forget, we're on all the platforms from Spotify, we live stream, Facebook, YouTube. You can visit us on any of those and we would love to have you. Thank you again for visiting us here at the Kingdom. This is Pastor Fred Moore. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.